Hey, welcome back to some more Mario Kart Double Dash. Today we got a fun matchup between Optimus Gimo and Rick Pick. Uh, and commentating here, you have myself, Phoenix spelled correctly, and with me is Baseball Kid. Hey, everybody. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get into it. Uh, we've already had some Double Dash today, and it's always nice to have some more. And uh, looks like we'll be going on to Sherbert Land for the first track. Um, and they've already gotten their bands out of the way. Uh, Emo getting rid of DKM and Rick Bick getting rid of Rainbow Road. Both tracks that are popular to fall off of, so not too surprising. Ah, uh, man. Rainbow Road is too forgiving. It's impossible to fall off that track. Honestly, I do think we've seen less falls on Rainbow Road than maybe DKM and uh, maybe DDJ, even. I don't know. Where's the stat sheet when we need it? <laughs> right? But, uh, all right, we'll be getting GSA, here. work their sinking magic. It looks good. Thanks oh, again. Yeah. What is Rick, Rick Bick doing? He likes to do the uh, sideways strat after the pool. I do not like that strat. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I can get down with that. I've dabbled with it a little bit. It's about net even. Is it? Oh, I just don't like holding yeah. the MT is the only thing. But yeah, it can be nice to keep a nice line if you do it perfectly. Unfortunately, he went wide. And Emo, come busting out a .3 opener, is actually the over a nice, second ahead. The nice thing about the sideways is that your spacing around that first right corner is better. And I personally oh. struggled with the transition from sideways into tunnel. I know Emo's right. also tried it a little bit, and he actually really liked the transition. So, whatever floats your boat. Emo yeah. is flying. Yeah, I know, he's doing real well. Uh, not the best trim lap he wanted, 24-5, but just have, you know, being able to use it uh, and still get a better time than Rick Vick, you know, staying ahead. Probably looking at a mid-114 here, I guess. Oh, maybe higher, actually, now. I was going to say mid to low. Uh, 114.7. Yeah, still a oh. solid time, beating out Rick Bick's PR. So yeah. no problems there for the first match, and that'll be Rick Bick's pick for the next track. As loser picks. Yeah, what a loser. <laughs> 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 I never claimed to have good commentary. I just volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to Mushroom Bridge next, of course. Hey, I'm happy to have you. Yeah, oh, Mushroom Bridge. Happy to have you too, buddy. Yeah, actually, uh, let me go ahead and post this matchup in chat just so you guys can see the PR differences between these players. I guess we never formally introduced them, but Emo is ranked two in the world. He's insane at this game. Rick Bick, I believe, is currently ranked 44 ish. Uh, so there's definitely a big skill gap here. It's kind of hard for Rick Bick to get points on Emo, so we'll have to see if he can pull it out. And Mushroom Bridge. Probably not his be better choice. Mushroom Bridge, Peach Beach, and Mushroom City. High skill courses that Pop Seed player usually picks as like fault course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually kind of interesting that he uh, starts with Mushroom. Oh, uh, Emo dropping up seat and MT and getting a little bit of a slowdown there, although not too bad. Was able to get off the wall and it's quickly catching up. Basically, That's already, already, getting... already back in the lead. Yeah. It could have been worse, so that was good recovery by Emo. Pretty subtle things that like can end up making a huge difference. I mean, like you know, someone who doesn't know how to recover as well might have just come to a full stop there and lost several seconds. But not Emo, pulling ahead the better opener by a lot actually. 0.7 ahead here. Ooh, oh no, the truck man. hit. And Although, that right there oh. is why Rick Pick picks this course, taking the lead with a forgiving car hit. Yeah, although he already did secure himself 0.7 uh, in the lead that first lap, so Emo's staying ahead here despite the car hit. You just really see the skill difference between these players. Comes lap three truck, hopefully won't be as bad. Oh, and Emo hits it, and Rick Bick gets by. Actually, Rick Bick looking to have a good chance to pull out a win here, although can he survive for one full more lap? Emo still looking close, quickly catching up. I think this might be close to PR pace for Rick Bick. He's thrown down a couple huge times on Mushroom Bridge. Yeah, it's kind of insane too, considering Emo hit two trucks and looks like he's going to take the lead. Wow! Uh, still wins. Giving Rick Bick too much credit. 120.6. I know his PR is 119.5, I want to say. 119.4. Somewhere in there. 
Mushroom Bridge. He has a 1194, correct? Yeah. Oof. Look at me. Don't even need the stat sheet. Just note off the top of my head. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty wild, though. Emo, despite the car hits and despite the slight stuckage at the beginning, still beats him out by 0.2. Still close, though. And that's the kind of mistakes that Rick Bick's looking for. Unfortunately, he couldn't clutch it out. Um, and that's kind of what I was saying about picking tracks like that early. Uh, sometimes you're just not as warmed up, especially for Mushroom Bridge, which is like super technical and the little things matter more. So, Here's, uh, another course that Emo's going to have to be warmed up on to play well Baby Park. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, this is a uh, an interesting pick by Rick Big. Perhaps just wants to get out of the way early, but this is a track where you really kind of suffer if you're the lower seed because there are so many different strats. Um, Rick Bick is starting to try 8MT, but I still feel like the difference between their laps is going to be pretty huge here. Yeah, uh, 6MT versus r is like 0.3 per lap. Mm -hmm. I think Rick Bick was having some eh, mediocre 8MT and just barely getting better laps than his 6MT, so still has a lot of uh, adjusting, learning the new lines in front of him. Yeah, and Emo actually not going sideways. Pretty smart, honestly. It's not worth it oftentimes in a one try. It's a little more risky, so he's just doing nor normal ADMT, so you can kind of see the difference between, uh, you know, their laps, even though they are doing the same uh, strats. And yeah, like you were saying, Rick Bick, I, I think he kind of is pretty new to 8MT, so actually getting worse laps than you would with 6MT, so definitely falling behind very quickly here. He is busting out the point twos and point ones. That's what you want to see with those... Uh... Easy point ones. Yeah. Only questionable part will be rooms on the last lap. I've been playing yeah. very safe in tournament and setting them up. Yeah, he does have fine around oh, the first corner. Nice. Base it, good for the second. And home for a Ooh, Rick Beck. Second corner. Whew. It's an 8.7 lap. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Like we said, same strats, just mm, just much cleaner driving from Yumo. Um, and it looks like it'll be Rick Bick's pick yet again. Where will he go? He will go to... Let me look into my crystal ball. Waluigi Stadium. Let's he's, see. Not, he's not listening. Waluigi Stadium. Why Waluigi? Ah, it's DDJ. He's too kind. Going to DDJ just for me. <clears throat> yeah, track that uh, I gotta say, Rick Bick has actually struggled on quite a bit in the past. Yeah, um, his PR is like pretty good, but he uh, just can't really seem to stop himself from falling a lot of times, so if he can keep it together and Emo takes a fall, then uh, I could definitely see uh, Rick Big taking the point, but like I said, that's kind of his only win condition, and it's already slim as it is. Because the thing is, for Rick Big's case, like, if both players play well, Emo will win every track, so he really needs Emo to play poorly and Rick Big to play well, so, you know. Yeah, you must stop being mean. Play, play bad. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's the opposite of a commentator's curse. He's gonna like world record right now because you said that. Nah, that would be quite <laughs> true unless he's a wimp. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's be honest. Unless it's stupidly hard, and we're all wimps and never try it <laughs> in tournament. Did did they gentlemen do it at all? No, I I don't know if they will. Maybe they talked beforehand about going for it, but we'll have to see. You're suggesting two gamers were social and talked beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, they didn't talk. That's a good point. Okay, looks like they're both doing shrooms on their first lap. Yeah, getting those shrooms out of the going way. Going around for the last lap. Oh. Emo had a much cleaner landing and following corner there. Just adding to the lead now. Gonna come in with a. Whew, one second lead after the first lap. 34-0, nothing to shake a stick at. Yeah. And, and right. like I was saying, Emo doesn't have to play super well to beat Rick Big, so I think he may be focusing on not falling, getting those shrooms out, and 
and uh yeah, Oh Redback. Not getting off the MT on the landing. Yeah, that one always hurts to see. Thinking about life as he stops. Yeah, pretty small mistake. You know, we drop from T's all the time, and it doesn't help that you actually can't see your sparks in the air, so sometimes you'll charge orange in the air and not even realize it, only to release it and realize it wasn't completely charged. So Come on, Emo, go for sure and left. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll have to see. <laughs> no, he's gone around. Nah, yeah. Considering me not surprised. But Rick Beck uh, actually got for sure and left. Oh, felt like he needed it. Honestly, not that bad of a choice. I mean, he is kind of desperate in these situations. Um, but unfortunately, he doesn't get it. I wonder, I don't know. Honestly, even if he did get it, Emo still probably would have won. Um, Emo had quite a big lead there. 144.0. Rick Bick coming in with his victory lap. Oh, wait, wait. That's not a victory lap. 154. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, has he ever made Shroomless? Um, I honestly think the only person to make a Shroomless during one try was Goomba. I'm talking in general. Go oh, probably. Uh, he seems to like want to go for it. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Well, of course, do we got next? Oof. Peach Beach. Okay, you read chat faster than I can. My mom always told me I was a slow reader. <laughs> <laughs> Emo was warming up on this course beforehand. Let's yeah, quite a out. bit, and actually was able to get a PR on it uh, last night, so I definitely think he's kind of all warm for this track. Well, what time did he get? Uh, 107, 124, I believe it was. And he had a 153, so small cut, but still getting any cut at his level is uh, pretty solid, I'd say. Has Rick picked him playing this course at all? Um, I couldn't tell you if he has recently. Uh, I do believe he got his his 108.0, his current PR, not super long ago, maybe a uh, couple weeks ago now. He's just like you. Struggling but, to get the point <laughs> to get the sub. But you hey, wait, I got I got the I got the point of seven. It only took you like two weeks. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh Rick Beck actually looking pretty strong out of the gate here. Twenty three point four versus a twenty three point seven ahead of Emo here. Emo yeah, had a little go. bit of trouble there. Right. But, oh no. Emo's kind of falling apart. Can Rick Beck keep it together to, to take this point? Honestly, not too far from his ghost either. Emo needs to step it up for this Ooh. third lap. And he's catching up on that last corner. Yeah, that Where last corner can be huge. For a 23 0. Oof, definitely not what Emo wants. He's got to make up a lot of time on this flap. Rick Pick sitting at about 0.5 ahead. Emo cutting more of the tide despite being on a slower pace. Uh, That's a good go. time save, and Emo's catching up. This last corner could make the difference. Oh Oof, my gosh. They are in sync. Left, right, left. Oh, was it a drop from G? Oh no, Emo! Oh! <laughs> and he still gets it! What? Emo with the point one victory. Whew! I'm on the edge of my seat. Wow. Yeah, that that last lap from Rick, I, I knew Emo would turn up the heat too. He uh, kind of had to pull ahead. Of course, that last straight was very scary to see from Emo both sides. I thought he lost it because he, he was dropping those MTs. And then I was like, oh, wait, Emo still got it, so, whew. Rick Beck had the huge grass hit on the final corner. Couldn't quite clutch it out. Yeah. Yeah, and, and there you can kind of see the difference. Rick Beck definitely could have afforded to go deeper into the water, but uh, stayed on the, on the edge of the water there, which wasn't optimal. Emo just cutting through. He knows exactly where to go to get to the water, so that helped him as well. Our next course is going to be Luigi's Circuit. Yeah, another track that you got to have, uh, got to be quite warmed up on. Unfortunately, that was kind of a sloppy peach beach from both players. So, well, Rick Bick was looking okay for most of it, but um, hopefully Emo can uh, get his his lines and his MTs back in order. He did a uh, warm up on this as well a little bit. 
was able to get a 114, or not 115.2 on warm up. He got a 114. Let's go. Sorry, 115.2. <laughs> Did he beat my PR? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You have a 114, don't you? Yeah, 114.92 something. 927, I want to say. Okay. Well, yeah, his his PR I think is a one. Let's see, one fourteen seven. So it's not even that far off. Emo beating his ghost for the first lap, NBD. First pick going right. for a flap, <laughs> and dropping the MT, so no flap today. Yeah, you know, you can definitely tell he kind of warmed up, although. I thought you played over. this recently. I feel like he did. Um. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, like a little bit before he was doing Mac, but I'm not sure. He might have just realized how much he hates Luigi and, and kept uh, her and stopped it. playing. Yeah. Uh, that is a but, great life decision. <laughs> yeah, Emo's looking really solid, though. Staying close to his ghost. Oh, I dropped him to T. Oh, still very good for a one try, and Rick Bick would have needed a miracle to win that. 115 0. Very solid. He didn't beat my PR. I'm good. <laughs> Rick Pick on the other side with a 119-0. Yeah, not what he wanted, but uh Brings the score six to zero. Rick Pick's gonna need some soul searching, gonna need a miracle. Pull out the genie, make those three wishes, and bring it back, <laughs> bud. <laughs> yeah. Already match point, kinda scary when you don't have a point. Uh where will Rick Vick take Emo next? What do you think? Maybe Yoshi? I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing at random now. I have no clue. Oh, you just want to watch Yoshi. So? He's probably going to take him to the, like, <laughs> Mario Circuit. Yeah, whatever. You said that after you typed it. <laughs> okay, fine. I would have said Mario Circuit if you didn't follow Yoshi in there. Too fast for me. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like we'll be going to Mac next. Um... Can Rick Pick pull out a point? Uh, unfortunately, a track that Emo has also been playing recently uh, cut down his PR by quite a bit. The, uh, the front yard. Spots. The front yard looks a little bad. Can either of these players mow the lawn for me? Much appreciated. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. It is pretty common on uh, Mario Circuit. The the first corner on Mario Circuit. It's so awkward. People go flying them through the grass constantly. Yeah, I, I really don't like that corner. Um, Rick Bick. Oh no, Rick Bick. Full stop on that. Yeah. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the strat, basically you, you kind of want to get a little bit of a bonk uh, when you're not shrooming. Uh, it kind of is able to to turn your angle, your cart, like where you want to, and you can cut the grass. Gonna nice line but fortunately he's a little too aggressive and came to a full stop although he doesn't really have to worry about the goombas as much as emo but emo 30.1 second opener i'm just spitballing here but kind of looked like rick Beck got caught up really inside on the left turn so he's breaking away from the grass trying to save his line which cost him to go flying into the wall yeah that that is kind of a, a common way uh, that happens like we were saying that first corner is just so awkward uh, and sometimes when you uh, let go of a, a little too long you'll just go flying towards that corner you both throwing in a 29 one lap versus a 29 nine for Rick Beck yep going to the left of the tree this time <laughs> not the lines he intended ooh that's a tough decision who actually made a better shroom there Rick Bick yeah, looked to have a better entrance, but I'm going to say Emo pulled it off slightly better on the inside exit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't tell you. 127.9, again beating out Rick Bick's PR. Really Always tough for Rick Bick. Yeah, so really solid time from Emo again. He's kind of just playing his game, racking up his points, and that'll actually be the best of 13. Um, One, so. 127.9, I think it is a myth last time it's myth plus or myth a yeah very solid and next oh we're going to daisy i'm excited yeah emo is a former world record holder on this track for both categories the three lap and flap so um no now stranger to it now he's just second place <laughs> yeah only second place <laughs> 
Um, no, but uh, Rick Pick was playing this track somewhat recently. He actually has a 138.4. It's pretty respectable for his level, so um, if he can keep it together, and maybe we'll see Emu fall in the pool? We'll, we'll have to check. <laughs> maybe we'll see either of them fall in the pool. Yeah, the pool is quite scary. Oh, Emo getting stuck on the stairs, actually electing to Shroom to, to break free. Yeah, it um, looked like Rick Pick got smooth stairs there, just adding insult to injury. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to put Rick Pick quite a bit ahead. Ooh. Coming in first lap at a 33.5 compared to a 35.2. That's a 1.7 yeah. lead. And he's going swimming, returning the favor. Nice room by Emo. And Cornet uh, matching up with some decent stairs. Huge lead now. Big, yeah, big change of events. Yeah. And that's Michael, just kind of the, the player that Rick picks up against. Uh, he's really got to capitalize on these mistakes better. Cycles lap three for Emo. We'll have some movement, but I think as long as he dips under the second table, it's easy. And then I have no clue Rick picks pace. I think he might not even see any movement from the tables. Here we go. Uh, he makes it fine going to the left. Yeah. I actually hauled that table cycle pretty well. Rick picks all clear. And Rick picks getting stuck. Oh yeah, getting stuck in that corner. Going around. Oh, the I hate to see it. Knocking on all the doors, saying hi to everybody. Yeah, and that stuck age actually gave Emo 140, definitely not the time he wanted, so that was another a chance for Rick Bick to, to pull in a point. Still a shame about that Peach Peach, that was really close. Rick Bick definitely could have taken him on Peach Peach or DC so far, but smooth sailing from Emo so far. Um, hasn't dropped the point yet. Going to yeah. the Artec heavy course of War that wall yeah, Warrior Coliseum. Who I don't know my courses. <laughs> Yeah, one of those enemies. I actually used to do that. I would say Wario Stadium and Waluigi Coliseum all the oh, time. No. Now I'm being compared to Phoenix. What is this like? <laughs> You're just like me, baseball. <laughs> no. No! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, uh, another track that Emo uh, had world records on. Um, so Rick Bick just wants to take him. I don't know. He doesn't really have much choice. I mean, when you play 13 tracks, you, you end up playing... Uh, just about every track outside of the bands and one that you ignore. So, oh, Emo actually missing the start boost. Going to put Rick Bick ahead here for the start. But uh, this is a decent track of Rick Bick's. He does have the sub two minute. Um, Emo, of course, having a huge PR advantage, though, for my world record. So, we'll have to see how this one turns out. Breaking out the hard attack. First lap room. Uh, oh no, Rick Bick coming to a full stop using his next shroom, unfortunately going wide. Emo had a little bit of speed at the end of the uh, spiral there. That's usually the telltale sign of good art attack, good shroom. Oh, and more stuckage for Rick Bick. Rick Bick, just drive off, reset, think about life. Come uh, back no, don't, no don't, don't do that. <laughs> Don't reset. <laughs> oh, don't don't drive off. All right, fifty nine eight opener for Emo. Yeah, after missing start boost, you know we'll take it. We'll go past the second lap. I have faith. <laughs> Probably missed start boost. Uh, you know, can cost quite a bit. Although the shrooms do save a lot. We'll have to see. Depends on his Arctic. Oh, that's good Arctic. Yeah, it's looking pretty clean. Ooh, and finishes that out. Easy. Tight Rick Vick. Tech as well, going a bit wide, but brings it back for the ending, so... Yeah, finishes on the bad. inside. Oh, That's casual huge. corner. Emo got stuck there a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh. Rick Vick actually falling off. He took my advice, I told him to fall off and think about life. <laughs> what a guy. Not sure, even a lot of thinking after this game. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Emo. No. Okay, okay. He saved that. I was a little worried he might dip into the, the you know, he was running out of the fence there. But uh, no, he's fine. Brings it in. Two Rick minutes, Pick like isn't nine. fine. Rick Pick is not fine. He went in the donut. The big O. 
Yeah, just trying to get to the finish line at this point. Ooh. Okay, I'm feeling some dry, dry desert now. I could see it, but uh, Emo is the current world record holder on that track, so we'll have to see. Who knows, though? He did pick DC into Wario. Maybe he's just going through Emo's tracks. Oh, and he's actually going to pick Muck, Mushroom City. Oh, even worse. <laughs> yeah, Mushroom City is one of those tracks super 8 tech heavy, and uh, I mean, Higher Seed always has the advantage, but it, it seems even more so on Mushroom City. Um, it's going to show up those top player lines. Oh, snap. I wish I had those lines. <laughs> Don't we all? Get your notebooks, boys and girls. Class is in session. <laughs> Uh, 135 8 PR for Rick Bick, and I actually didn't see Emo's, but I think he has a 135 2. He has a Mushroom City 135 2, correct? Yeah. His current PR is quote unquote bad for his level. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like even Emo's bad PRs are, are pretty solid. Um, but this is, I, I guess, maybe considered one of Emo's lesser played tracks. What, he's still top five time here, I'm assuming? Uh, probably. This track doesn't seem super optimized at the high level. Not, I don't know. I feel like towards the end of this course, not too many people have kind of broken through that low 134 barrier. Uh, let's see here. Andrew, Goomba, and Andreas. Andreas! Andreas was the first one to get this tab. 133, 997. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> uh, did, did Rick actually Bick? pulling out a faster yeah first lap from there ooh lay shoot from emo oh, he oh no Rick Bick that's some wall yeah. you can hug them after the match <laughs> yeah emo still pulling ahead by a bit but Rick Bick honestly not too far behind that he's not out of this race completely oh, um am. If Emo makes one big mistake, that could be it. Going around the track, once played safe. Oh, Rick Bick trying to play it a little riskier and unfortunately takes the hit. And now the uh, time differences are quite large. Emo, nice room there. Adding to his lead. Both people avoid the red car. Going to the right of the yellow car. Easy money. Oof. Emo looking clean through there. That's why I brought out my notebook, that section. <laughs> and he's getting the 134. Oh, wait. 134.9, yes. 9.82 versus a 137. Rip the car head. Car head only counts for one second if I'm being very pessimistic. <laughs> Kind of running out of tracks to pick. Decides to go with Yoshi, though. You got Yoshi, Dry Dry Desert, Bowser. and Bowser. Uh, yeah. I'm sure there's more. Oh, no, that's it. There should be oh, one. Oh, wait, there's one more. You're right, you're right. I'm bad. Um... Well, Luigi? Did they... Oh, yeah, well, Luigi. Yeah, that's it. That's why I couldn't think about it. I suggest that they go there way earlier. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, I might see a YOLO from Rick Bick. I don't know if Emo will go for it. During warm-ups, he was kind of uh, complaining about not being able to get. He's going for Oh, nah, oh it's... yeah, he's been saving it for lap three. Yeah, if I mean it's kind of a smart thing to do. If you are gonna do it, may as well go for it. Lab three, you don't want to lose your shrooms. And... Emo should definitely go for tunnel strat. <laughs> no, I called him out for it. You know, he he loves going for tunnel strat on this track, and I was like, hey, just don't go for yellow. And he's like, no, I'm gonna go for it. So I think he just wants to end up in the tunnels. We'll have to see what he does. Thirty-three seven opener compared to a thirty-six two. <laughs> Not, oh, and, and actually going way too tight there. Yeah, I saw it coming. Rick Bick going for a swim, cooling off yeah. in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Of course, up emo, taking 10 in a row is a pretty big cooler. Yeah, he's close to his ghost now. It doesn't mean much because his ghost still has a shroom. But, uh, I mean, it's enough for a one try, you know? 
It's still probably gonna be Rick Vick's PR. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't think Rick Vick um, plays Yoshi too much. Let me take a look. Uh, actually, I want to see what he does. Oh, Emo is going around. Going some Mark to make Yeah, that was interesting. He had to change his angle there. It's not really used to going around. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he's got the experience. Oh, and Rick Vick goes for it. Gets it. Nice. Not gonna mean much. Fortunately, lost this room. Let's go. Um, Come on, tunnel strat. <laughs> Not going for it. Yeah. <laughs> tunnel strat's decently hard. I don't know why it's so hard to get into that tunnel. It doesn't save any time. It's just, it's the most just that. Thing. <laughs> it's just the fact that you're coming around that corner. And it's kind of blind into that. Speed wise, you can go stupidly slow compared yeah. to uh, our normal shroomless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might get in a 142 flat there, um, which actually, let me check uh, his PR. Yeah, Rick Bick has a 142.6, so. Rip. Unfortunately, yeah. Beats yeah. out Rick Bick's PR by a good margin, and now we'll be moving on to Waluigi. Woo! Waluigi. No, Waluigi. Through the fire and the flames, add the bounces and the Prada plants, you got it one garbage course. Might be a little painful to watch. Alrighty. And, uh, they're off. We'll go stream sync there. And we will probably be seeing streams lap one here from both players. Yeah, there they are. Just sets you up a little bit better for these cycles. Rick Pick got stuck on that first corner. Already yeah. taking that huge deficit. Rick, uh, Emo coming in with uh, 32.8, and Rick Pick on the other side at 35.2. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. We can work with that. He got that lucky zipper to kind of keep him going. Yeah, it's actually not as bad as just uh, muddling through the mud there. But uh, both streams out. Oh no, Rick Pick right into the plant. Ah, why didn't that plant retract? Feels bad, but uh, gonna fall even further behind. And uh, so far, looking like Emo's got this one if he can hold it together lap three. Oh yeah, he's got this easy. That section was so good. Yeah. Good There's thing I didn't put my notebook away. You should just always have it out when he must playing. Uh, okay, Rick Bick getting through the mud skip. Gutter is the last tricky part. Two turns and a ramp to the finish for Emo. A little yeah, balance. Yeah. Nothing well, horrible. Seeing Emo sad? Oh, look at that. Emo's happy. 138.2. Jeez. Rick. Yeah, pretty solid again, beating out Rick Bick's PR. So. Just kind of a, a tough matchup here, and uh, one more track until. Drum roll, please, in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Bick asking if Emo wants to go dry dry. Oh, I want to go to dry dry. Yeah, you know, I'd rather see dry dry than Bowser. Oof. Bowser, no bueno. Rick Bick clearly flipped a coin in his head because he was going back and forth. Ended up picking Dry Dry Dirt. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to see that. Emo <laughs> has a sick time on this track. He's got a 127.9. Only person with a 127. So maybe we'll see. It's always, Even if, you know, uh, Rick Bick doesn't play his best, it's always nice to, or fun to watch Emo play this track. I've seen him bust out some sick openers in one tries, uh, and even almost been on world record pace for an opener. So I want to see Emo turn up the heat. Although I don't believe he's played it since he got the record, really. But who knows? Maybe he plays it every once in a while to warm up or something. Might still yeah. be warm. And incoming commentaries, Chris. You just talked about so much. <laughs> I mean, Emo sucks on this track. Yeah, that's right. 
I put my nuke book away, not expecting anything. <laughs> Rick Pick is dead. Oh no, Rick Pick, unfortunate. He, he, he went a little wide. Oh, I landed no. in the tornado, no. He, he went a little wide, so when he hit the ramp before this room, I saw that extra nudge to the right, and I died on the inside. Oh man, Rick Pick just... Uh, losing all the time he can so far. It's really unfortunate to see, but it is kind of hard to get your head back in the game after such a devastating makes mistake so early. And not even in just the race, but in, you know, the entire match. You know, you, you lose a couple of bad points or play poorly on a couple tracks, and it's kind of hard to untilt yourself. Um, you know, 28.8 second lap, not too shabby. Uh, still's got his ghost in sight, so definitely doing all right here. Especially considering his opponent, Rick Bick. Rick Bick. Just Unfor trying to get through the course. Unfortunately, gonna get a bagel for this match. What do you think his favorite flavor bagel is? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I could definitely go for a blueberry bagel right now. Ooh, blueberry bagels are nice. Yeah. All right, emo. One twenty nine. Just shy of the one twenty eight. Yeah, still a very solid time for a one try. And Rick Bick gonna head towards that finish line. And uh, pretty soon we'll, we'll bring the players in for a post-match interview. Um, look at him go. And yeah. finishing sideways, nice. 151, definitely not what he wanted, but hey, what's up? Hey, hey guys. So, uh... So wait for emo. You're uh, emo. You're muted. Okay. Hello. Uh, hi. Oh, hi there. Hey, what's going on, emo? <laughs> Got the players in here. Emo, congrats on the win. Uh, was a fun match to watch. Um, Rick Bick, how, how are you feeling about the outcome? Uh, I know emo's a much higher seated player, but uh, are you surprised by this uh, uh, point difference here? No, I'm psyched. That means that emo is officially better than Goomba. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, Rick. They did take a point on Goomba. There you have yeah, it, folks. So... New world champion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think I'm playing bad. It's just, you know, it just, it just is what it is. He's just so much better than me. Yeah, so. it's definitely hard. He was able to beat out uh, a lot of your PRs. On a yeah, lot of these I mean, games. I, I definitely had a lot of falls, but like. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, to some extent, it just doesn't even matter anyway. I was just trying to race my ghost. Like, I was just trying to, you know, have a good double dash session. Wasn't right, trying right. to worry too much about, like, winning. Because it's kind of, you know, like, there's only so much I can do. Like, even if I beat my PR, it's not enough, you know? So I was just really trying yeah. to race my ghosts and have a good time. Yeah, I could see that. It's definitely uh, can be a healthy mindset to have one tries, you know? Not really many nerves. Uh, Emo, how do you think you did? I think I played pretty well considering everything. Like, of course, like a little, some flubs, but yeah, overall, like, pretty well. Nothing yeah, I believe really it was just. A, yeah, I, I think it was really just the Peach Beach. Rick Bick had a decent chance. That was actually really <laughs> close. And I, yeah. I totally, like, you guys crossed the finish line. I thought Rick Bick had won because Emo, you dropped those MTs, like, right at the end. Yeah. And I was I like, oh, no, like, MTs like, MTs had had it. It. oh my god. That, that yeah. grasp was pretty tragic. I think that was going to be, like, a 108, like, 3 or 108, 4. Which, like, yeah, a pretty you were good looking time. pretty good time for me. Yeah, you were you were definitely looking pretty solid. Uh, Emo, you just had some trouble with the those first turns. are pretty annoying, but, uh, yeah. Oh, well. GG's. Uh, got any questions, baseball? I'm out. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, alrighty then. There you have yeah. it. Um, you guys got any closing comments? I think we're about ready to close it out. Here. Yeah, I'm about to get a top 10 time on LC flap right now. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Break right. out that point too. <laughs> All right, this is it. This is. Oh, never mind. I dropped MT. All right, no. never mind. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done that. I was Good gonna commentate it. Oh, that went over to your stream. <laughs> uh, but uh, okay, so next up, uh, we got SM64 Rock Chalk versus Puncation. Be sure to stick around and watch that. It should be a lot of fun. But uh, until next time, Double Dash is uh, done for now. So see y'all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.